Hey guys, so it's time to unbox the new Samsung Galaxy C5 from Samsung. I've been looking forward to this one because some people have been calling it Samsung's iPhone here. Uh, HTC did build an iPhone, obviously, the HTC One A9, now it's Samsung's turn. So this is uh, brand new here and we're going to check it out and have a look at what uh, it brings to the table. So I'm just going to open it up here. And I've been saying for a long time actually that Samsung should, uh, you know, go with the metal design. Obviously, keeping its own design language at the same time. So let's see. Wow, I'm looking forward to this one. Whoa, this looks nice. Look at that. That is a nice box here. Presentation. First look. Oh, oh, nice. I'm just going to peel this off quickly because this is nice. Samsung. Wow. I didn't know you had it in you. Build a metal phone. Samsung built a metal phone. Look at that. That is very nice. Wow. Wow. So, Mr. iPhone, are you jealous? I bet you are. I mean, look at that. That is very similar indeed. Uh, so, we're going to uh, just have a look at what you get in the box as well. Really liking this, actually. I'm thinking this uh, could be a nice uh, new direction here for Samsung. Uh, so, you're getting your adaptive fast charging. Uh, you're getting a nice pair of earphones here, look like a nice quality one. Charging cable as well. So we're just going to put all that back in the box. And uh, let's see, let's see. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, before we turn it on, actually, let's have a look at the actual things you get. So you're getting your old style type uh, of USB. Uh, let's. Uh, Unpeel this. Oh, residue. We don't like that. So, I don't know why manufacturers do this, particularly with their beautiful, you know, uh, trinkets here. I mean, seriously, why do that? So, I'll wipe that off later, but. Basically, you can see we're getting a headphone jack at the bottom here. Uh, things don't look really that aligned, if you ask me, in terms of the alignment. Call me obsessive compulsive, but I do like a lot of alignment when it comes to things. But nevertheless, you can see uh, it is a very nice build quality here. Uh, it feels uh, as expensive as the device is. You know, it's not a cheap device. Uh, do we have a screen protector here? It looks like we have something applied to me. It looks like the the screen is lifted a little bit. I don't know. I might look into that off camera. Uh, but we're just going to boot it up here, see how it is. Very nice, delicious looking trinket here. Samsung, Sammy boy. So let's get my language. Where are we? Are we down here? Nice. So we're getting an AMOLED display. Oh, you saw the first letter. One step closer to hacking my infrastructure. I'm going to give you a hint every time I do it. This is 
very beautiful phone. I like the way they've made the front kind of shiny as well. It really glistens in the light. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's very light as well, you know, not uh, heavy just because we're getting a bit of metal here. So we're just going to skip this and go right into the operating system. I think we're getting 4 gigs of RAM with this variant as well. We did get the higher end model. Uh, I think you can get 3 gig RAM model as well for cheaper. We want to see the best here that the C series has to offer. Samsung built an iPhone. Wow. No easy mode. Finish. Aha! And we're in. Yes, yes. Sammy boy. So shall I keep the auto brightness on or off? That is the question. Some people say you should keep it on to get the maximum brightness. Uh, we're just going to see if we can disable it. No real difference. So you can see getting the new UI here. Not the new new UI that you're going to get on the Note 7, but still you know we're uh, quite nice Android 6.0.1 uh, let's have a look at the available RAM see if we can see this uh, where do I go for that I can't remember oh need to change the keyboard there we go uh, so, applications, yeah, I can't remember where you go, but maybe, uh, actually, I think I remember, it is the smart cleaner thing, do they have that anymore? They used to have it, that's annoying, so let's have a look at the uh, camera here. So I think this is uh, 13 megapixel, could be wrong though, I think it's probably 16 actually, can't remember. I just like the look of the phone, you know, don't really care about the specs. So let's have a look, I think uh, 16 megapixel, as you can see, and let's have a look at that shot I just took. So that looks very nice and detailed here. I can already see the iPhone getting jealous. Uh, so do we get uh, the 4K? We get the Pro Mode, which is nice, HDR. Uh, no live streaming though to YouTube, unfortunately. Uh, where is the video settings? Here we go. So full HD, no 4K. Definitely would expect 4K, I think, for this, uh, you know, uh, like uh, kind of device, but I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm going to definitely uh, enjoy doing some videos with this one, checking it out against the competition here. So we do have some nice wallpapers as well uh, here in the settings. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it on the stop one, uh, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, if you've got anything you want to see, do let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.